and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In need of a super mod, or an editor, or just need to let someone have access to download your VODs and clips from Twitch, there's a lot of good reasons to make someone an editor. I'll be going over everything you need to know to set someone up as an editor, what they can do, and what they can see. So before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First of all, a little disclaimer, make sure that you have some level of trust with the person that you plan to make an editor or a super mod. Don't just make anyone this here role as they can change and delete a lot of different things on your channel. As an editor, they have a lot of power. Maybe that might be a little bit too much. If you're looking just to let someone have some super mod commands and just only the commands minus the access to the Twitch panel, you can check in the link description uh, for a video that I made for making someone super mod in stream elements. That being said, make sure that you do have some level of trust with the person that you're going to make. Make sure that you would be okay making them more than just a mod. So if you already trust them fairly good as a mod, it's probably a pretty good choice for a person that you're going to add as an editor. Editor gives a lot of different roles such as the editors able to access the channel dashboard and help the streamer manage their channel by performing a lot of the simple things like editing the stream info, running commercial breaks, editing video info, uploading videos, starting reruns, downloading past broadcasts, reviewing, searching, sorting, and deleting including mass deleting clips and setting up channel clipping permissions. So that that's a lot of power. So if you're scared that someone's going to delete all your videos, this is probably not a step that you would want to take. That being said, you can still download them and there is still other tools. I have two examples right here. Uh, one's called Twitch Leecher. You can recommend that your mod use this if they're editing your videos or need access to your videos. And if it's clips, I use the HD video converter factory but it does cost money after 300 so those are two ways that you can avoid giving somebody this here power and like i said there is a clip i'll leave a link to a video in the description below of a video i made for setting someone up as a super mod just for the permissions that allow you to run like give points and stuff like that and not slash mod all right so let's get started sorry i wasted so much time on that um the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to log into twitch.com make sure that we're on our account head on over to our little icon over here and head to the creator dashboard from here we want to go down to the community tab and click on role manager here you're going to find a list of everybody that you have modded on your channel minus the super mod. If you make somebody a super mod just in stream elements, they will not show up in here, but they will be able to use all the bot commands like give points and stuff like that there. Um, from here, you're going to see a little plus button beside the person. So find the person that you want to mod, click on this plus button. And right here, it's going to have this editor option. Now, if they need to download clips and videos, this is actually the only way that they can download clips and videos without using a third party program that they might have to pay for. So this is a good option if they just need access to download videos. And it does give them a lot of access to other things. We'll go over that here in a couple minutes. Okay, so we're going to set this person as an editor. Okay, once you have that done, they will be able to do everything that I mentioned earlier. Like they're going to be able to do a few things like edit the stream, run commercials. And now I'm going to go over to the editor side of things, what they can see and where you, they can find the settings to edit other channels. Like I'll, I'll make sure to go over how the person is supposed to actually access the dashboard. Okay. Once your mod logs in, the editor logs in, they'll be able to go to their dashboard. And there'll be a spot right down here. We just go down the left side to settings. We, now we need to go to the stream settings right here and scroll down. You'll find a spot that says permissions. From here, it's going to say channels you can manage as an editor. You just need to click on that. Now this is going to give you some options as dashboard, whisper, and remove yourself as an editor. We're just going to click on the dashboard. From here, this is going to give you everything you need to see. You're going to be able to see the stream. You're going to be able to edit the panels. You're going to be able to message and chat and see everything that just happened, the recent events. In the ins insight, you're going to be able to see even their achievements, everything, all their progress, the things they've completed. In the content, you're going to be able to see 
all of the videos and you're gonna be able to click and download them from here. Now this is how you get the download option. Not just any mods can download videos. They have to be an editor to download videos. So keep that in mind if they need to edit videos and they need clips and they need to download the stuff directly. This is how you would do it. You would give them editor and they'd be able to come in and have permission to edit mod and stuff like that without a third party pro program of some kind. Same as clips, you can just go in and you can click on the clip and bring it up. So you can, the ones I've clipped or the ones that the, are for the channel. So you can click here and then just click on the download right here. So those are ways it, and things that they can access. And a few other things are the channels that can change the schedule and the featured content. And in the moderation, they can check through the auto moderation, block terms and phrases, permit, hyperlinks, uh, the same things as the mod chat they can do the nod mod chat delay and follower mode mod only follower only mode that was so hard to say my bad okay that being said test it the slash mod so this here person won't quite have access to slash mod or on mod somebody so that's unfortunate but that's okay um, I was hoping this here was another way I could do that, but mostly this was so somebody if they're in need of downloading anything and this has given them all the permissions. You can use all of the mod uh, permissions and all of the bot permissions, I'm pretty sure. You still might have to make them a super mod on stream elements. That's something to keep in mind. You may still have to end up watching that video to make them a super mod to use the give points and stuff like that as well. That's everything there is to it, guys. Uh, this is how you would get somebody as an editor to download your clips uh, to check your stuff. Uh, they can do quite a bit of stuff. They can go in the stream manager. They're allowed to edit your stream info. They can uh, rate a channel or host a channel for you as well. But if you think I might have left anything out or forgot anything, definitely leave a comment in the description below. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. And if you want to catch me live on Twitch, you can head over to twitch.tv and check me out. It's Zian Solo. Maybe join the Discord. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching.